Check out all these rupee goods! I collected everything in the game. I don't need to collect anymore. Whenever I feel like collecting something, I'm just gonna have a stick of gum. Or go and get rupees. Either or. Welcome back to Freshly Picked, Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. Look at all these rupee goods! You know what? I really don't need to be reminded of Rupee Land anymore. I kind of destroyed its creator, and, uh, yeah, I know its real purpose in life. But at least I have some other ones we didn't look at yet, like the Pink Lotus. We might attain enlightenment. I'm gonna touch the universe in a tingly way. Nah, that sounded terrible. Also, we got the Spender Emblem, a reference to the Fire Emblem. It's the glory of being a big spender. Actually, I'm a big... I'm a big earner. I really haven't spent a lot of rupees, I've been mostly making them. We also got the pickaxe for being an honorary duke. It's sharp, don't play around with this and don't build bridges with it, that won't work. The master pen! Both the master mapper and his wife are in map heaven now. The merchant fan, it has the six merchant rules. Clean teeth, smile, shave, be persistent, lie, and cheat. I agree with these rules. The Super Chef Hat. It, it looks great, but it'll fall in the stew. Then it won't look so great. That's ridiculous. The Crown Bottle Cap. It's a cap for a bottle big enough for a person to fit in. So basically, Dr. Bean gave us his roof. What a generous guy. We got that already. But the Oink Flowers are new. Oh, I thought they meant the other kinds of flowers. Well, I kind of doomed Tingle to a life of being single by grabbing those. I guess that's why he doesn't have a wife in the other games. Oops. Well, at least it's a little bit more canon that way. I'm gonna have to head and get some treasure chests before I go ahead and... Check out what's behind that anti-Tingle door. I'm gonna check that out. Also, I have a, I have a fly that just keeps on buzzing around my monitor because it's on and the room is dark. And if it doesn't stop what it's doing, I'm gonna destroy it with the wrath of an angry god. You know what? I was thinking about something on the way over here. Why does this particular patch of ground have explosive claws in it? This is some kind of explosive claw animal wearing burial ground of some sort. It also has rupees in it. Well, rupees are everywhere in this game. You kind of figured that out by now. 47 videos, it's pretty apparent. What's in the box? Let's see what's in the box. Come on, hurry up and open that box. 9,000 rupees! You were so smart! You buy mini red herring! I had to do it. It was murdering me. I have to do a UHF joke once every decade or I will die. This is a stipulation in my contract. Now I have another chest to open. It's up there at Icy Plain. I didn't bother opening it when I had the chance because, um... Uh, I don't think I had the flute. No, it was Mount Desma I got the flute, I think. So, it's time to go and get cold. Maybe, just maybe, this blizzard will destroy that fly, because it's really starting to annoy me now. The final treasure chest, what could be inside? I mean, nothing could be better than rupees. I pretty much collected everything else. It's gotta be something sellable. The final chest! What is it? Oh, it's not really the final chest. We have one more. Horus Ruins. This is the Destructor Axe. Well, I gotta go back to town anyway, so might as well see what this sells for. Time for another cut. As you can tell, the game is really thinned out now, so if I'm gonna go and find the stuff I left behind, I'm gonna have to do lots of jump cuts. So, here we are. The armor. I, I forgot to sell you an item. Here is my last item to sell. Oh, I have two of them for some reason. Huh, did I really not sell the other one? Where did I get the other one anyway? Oh well. There were 3,500 rupees apiece. So I might as well just get these out of here, get ever closer to a million rupees, and hopefully I could hold on to them. I could do a lot of things at a million rupees when this is all said and done. Like, uh, I don't know, buy the royal family. Just buy the entire royal family. Have them do what I ask. 
now it's time for us to get done with this. To get it over with. To get on with it. Before the Monty Python starts showing up and telling me off. It's time to go to the Oris Ruins. Time to see what's behind that anti-tingle door. The final treasure chest happens to be right here. What do you mean you can't see it? What do you mean I haven't dug it out of the ground yet? You're ridiculous. That's right, there's treasure hidden even in these small patches of dirt. This is the final treasure chest. And this is the final treasure chest opening. What could be inside? Ah, uh, Topaz. Well, that's kind of underwhelming. Two rooms south of here, I could kind of dig them up out of the ground. Not very impressive. What is impressive is what's going to be behind this secret door. Why was Uncle Rupee guarding this so fiercely anyway? We're about to find out. What is the locked secret? What is the skeleton in Uncle Rupee's closet? It happens to be Pinkle! On what seems to be a giant DS. A stylus and everything. Finally, we meet. Tingo gets to meet his internet girlfriend. Well, I kind of came here under your illusion that it was like a Triforce of Rupee in here, but... Yeah, I guess I'll save you too. You finally saved Pinkle. From the tyranny of Uncle Rupee. Looks like he was keeping her prisoner in here, but for what reason? Poor Pinkle. She's been confined here for... God knows how many years. I wonder how many tingles she has und had under her assistance. She was forced to help us. Not even she knows how long she's been here. She didn't even leave any marks on the wall or anything. No evidence at all. But she's finally free. So I'm wondering, what exactly do I get for all this? What, what grand reward do we get? Yes, it's time for a reward from Pinkle. She's probably loaded. I mean, imagine her overtime. Oh, it must be a huge sack of rupees. Let's just get closer. A very special reward from Pinkle. It's gonna be a million rupees, I just know it. It was my lifelong dream to have a million rupees. It must be one huge bag. Where's she keeping it? I... I don't understand what's going on here. Oh my goodness! Uh... So... Tingle is... Getting... Pinkled! I don't want you to think too hard on what just happened, please. For the sake of everyone. Oh wow, we pinkled her so hard she turned in, into dialogue. Pinkle is turned into the essence of the universe by having physical relations with Tingle. I can't believe I had that in my head. Ah, get it out! Oh, great, now it's the Grand Fairy. What does she want? Hey, wait a second, that's Pinkle! What the heck is going on here? I used to be Pinkle. Now I am the Grand Pinkle. She's actually the Grand Fairy's daughter all along. Once we broke the seal on the chamber, she was able to turn into a Grand Fairy again herself. So this is probably the origin of the Great Fairy right here. The Great Fairy is actually Pinkle. And it's a little bit more headcanon for me. I will enjoy that. Until I think about what she did to Tingle. Oh my god! Why? Uncle Rupi has forced her to stay in this chamber. Exploited her fairy powers somehow. And... The rest was history. And now she's free. The music kind of sounds a little off. I don't know what is with it. It kind of sounds like a little slowed down version of the Grand Fairy theme. Maybe it's just my imagination. Yes, Pinkle, we know all about this. Here, here's some more late news as your reward. Not even rupees or anything. Just that scene. the power we gain should be able to destroy Uncle Rupee. I mean, it has in the, in the past. A couple videos ago we've done it.
A hollow pinkle! I, I don't want to imagine what Tinkle can do with a hollow pinkle. She'll be able to communicate and save our game, even though she's in fairy form now. She also sent another hologram to our house. This is getting terrible. I have questions. Alright, Pinkle. See you later. It's been a blast. Oh, by the way, she's just gonna hang around. So she's not gonna take or leave at all. She's gonna take her sweet time. Alright, Pinkle, you have you have good luck too, being the great fairy and all. You'd be the greatest fairy there is, and don't put on too much makeup. She's gonna put on too much makeup. Might as well take a trip back to our house, which we can't do in here because we're inside. Might as well check out what that hollow Pinkle is doing. Maybe she's just having a grand old time with Barkle. She's keeping Barkle company. Tingle's still busy doing things. Flying around, making maps, killing Uncle Rupee. You know the deal. Oh my goodness, no! Please do not read too hard into this either. Ah! My PG rating is in jeopardy! Let's just go and destroy Uncle Rupee for these transgressions. I'm upset now, and a little disturbed. I mean, I'm happy that Tingle finally affirmed to everybody that he is not what he, they think he is. But did they have to confer in that way? We've seen this scene before. Time to go ahead and launch ourselves back in outer space. It's so cold, there's no kind of atmosphere, I'm all alone, more or less. Let me fly far away from here, fun, 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 in the sun, sun, sun. I want to lie shipwrecked and comatose, drinking fresh, simple juice. Love carp shoals nibbling at my toes. Fun, fun, fun in the sun, sun, sun. Hey, Uncle Ropey, how, how did you like my rendition of a theme song that I heard? And it kind of got stuck in my brain forever. Yeah, we've seen this conversation before. I'm only going through it because something extra happens now that we freed Pinkle. The Grand Pinkle. Yes, yes, yes. Rupees are... Rupees are neutral, and I have many of them. Look how many I have. I have a million rupees! You can't stand this. I have more rupees than Uncle Rupee. Rupee Land should be mine. I'm buying it from you. It's a hostile takeover. Oh, he wants those back. Well, you know what? You can't... You, you get to have one. You get one. This is a charity. No, this ain't gonna satisfy him at all. It won't do at all. He'll have to take them all by force. But we have a very special guest. It's Pinkle! And we've tur turned into a... Pink Tingle. We are now Tinkle! All those mispronunciations were just lampshading. I swear. Yeah, I kind of freed her. She, she said you were a flatulating butthead. She'll work once again. For me. And the boss fight begins. Just as usual. I I don't think Pink Tingle has any benefits though. He he doesn't really have any increased attack powers. This boss fight really doesn't change much of anything because here's the Grand Fairy telling us how to do it again. He, he doesn't really have any defenses. Or anything special like that. He doesn't have like a rupee bomb or anything. It's just us shooting Uncle Rupee in the face with rupees. Well, at least he's not a kid and at least he's not a squid, so he has that going for him. I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, annihilate Uncle Rupee. And I'll see you when he explodes. And thus Uncle Rupee falls. Filled by the power of pink! And with my millions of rupees intact too. But will the future refuse to change? No. Since we freed Pinkle, something new happens. 
the evil Uncle Rupi, powered by his greed, has been utterly destroyed by Rupi positive power. He was kind of like Vigo from Ghostbusters 2. So now, I could use my 1 million rupees and do something good for the world. Well, you know, I'm kind of tired about being promised all these special paradises. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take all of my rupee power, and I'm just going to go ahead and make my own rupee paradise. Yes! Everyone gets to sit at home all day, making video game videos for a living. Everyone gets to eat nothing but the finest meals! No Gishol Greens from me ever again. 24-7, 364 day pool party! Actually, if it was my dream world, it would be endless early autumn. And that water's probably very cold. And I get to go out every night with my harem of hollow pinkles! Wow, I've kind of been... I've become worse than Porky, except without the chimeras. Speaking of which, I better go and bend Australophants while I still have the chance. Nope, I'm worse. I'll hail Rupee Master Chocobo, or be turned into a tingle. Happy ending? Okay, that was the special ending of freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. I hope you enjoyed it. I think America really should have gotten this game. It really should have. It would could have changed America's complete outlook on Tingle. Because he actually does some pretty cool stuff in here. Like when he defeated uh, that fire monster and that awesome theme that went with it. And also hiring all the bodyguards to do his bidding. I think America could have got behind that. In fact, this game was slated to be Japan only, but a European gaming magazine gave it rave reviews and some kind of like import uh, section of their magazine. And Nintendo of Europe paid attention to it and said, "Hey, maybe we have like a we have a gamer base there. Let's, let's give them Tingle." And also, Europe was a bit more favorable to Tingle than America was, so that's probably also driven the decision. There's also a sequel to this game too, since it did so well. Uh, it's Japan only, though, sadly, but it's called Ripen Tingle's Color Changing Balloon Trip of Love. Which, yet again, involves Tingle going on an epic quest to win over a princess. He has to date various girls in the kingdom, using rupees, giving them presents. It, the, the translation's currently being worked on. I'd, I'd like to take a look at it when it's done. But it, pretty much, if you're gonna use my headcanon, it involves a reincarnation of the hero of rupees. And he becomes a Tingle in a completely different way. He also only gets three bodyguards that time around, and it's completely played with the stylus. You don't use the D-pad at all. You just point and click at everything. So I don't know how that'll work out. It's more of a point and click adventure, and I'm not exactly good at those. But if I like it, hey, maybe it will be on the list down the road. Maybe 2016, Year of Zelda. This was a good game. I really like this game. I enjoyed it. It was very, very strange, and I respect it for being so strange. Special ending gets! That's it for freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. I'll see you again with another game which hasn't released yet. I'm upset. Why hasn't the game released yet? I want to play it. Maybe I'll do something else in the meantime. Something short. Until that time, this has been Freshly Picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land, and I've been Armor Chocobo. Kululimpa! Cool